Hey everyone, my name is Amel and you're watching Newsbreak. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. The new dinosaur with a deadly tail. Drone footage from La Palma's volcano. And the world's fastest Rubik's Cubers. But before we get started, why not add some excitement to your day and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's gonna be exciting. A new dinosaur has been identified in Chile and it's got a lot of people talking mostly because of its tail. It's been compared to a weapon used by Aztec warriors more than half a millennium ago. Here's Leela. Hmm. So, this is a weapon used by Aztec warriors, a wooden club with jagged obsidian blades in its sides. And this is the tail of the newly identified dinosaur. Huh, I guess they do look kind of similar. Coincidence? Yeah. I reckon it, it probably is. The new dinosaur has been called Stegorus Ellen Gasson. Its almost complete skeleton was uncovered in Chile. The dino roamed South America around 74 million years ago and was about two meters long. Stegorus was a type of armored dinosaur, or Ankylosaurus. They were medium-sized four-legged herbivores with body armor, known for their tail weapons, like Stegosaurus. In comparison, this one is definitely on the smaller side, but its tail makes it really special. It had seven pairs of blade-like spikes, which it could use to protect against predators, probably by swinging it from side to side. It's a huge find that scientists hope could shed light on the evolution of armored dinosaurs. Hmm. Check out this amazing drone footage of La Palma's erupting volcano. Lava's still flowing from the volcano on the Spanish island, and this drone trapped one of its streams. The volcano's been spewing molten lava and hot ash for three months now, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. Nearly 2,700 buildings have been destroyed, and thousands of people have had to leave their homes. Road signs, we see them everywhere. They tell drivers to slow down or to look out for things but a group of kids near Bendigo thought there weren't enough signs telling drivers to look out for wombats. So they took matters into their own hands. Yes, I love seeing wombats. It's a pretty rare and not every day you see them and they're so cute. Tell us about the wombat signs. How did they come about? Um, one of our next door neighbors wanted to help save wombats. Wombats have been crossing the road and people have been hitting them. And I don't think people know there are wombats around this area. We decided to make signs because there was only one small sign that had a picture of wombats and kangaroo on it. So we decided to make bigger ones that you could actually see. Neighbours came together to make the signs. I had neighbours put in for paint and some neighbours donate food for us to work hard and to finish the signs and over a few weekends. It's very nice that we actually get to see them, but it's actually sad that there's not many left of them. The signs are really important to remind people to slow down and watch out for wombats. And just like that, and that, and you're done. Okay, I might have gotten some help with that before sitting down, which isn't like the people in this next story because they're so good at solving this cube based puzzle that they're preparing for the 2021 World Cup. Nope, this isn't sped up. He's just really, really fast. Well, they all are. These guys are getting ready to face off in the 2021 Rubik's World Cup. It's a virtual competition where the fastest cubers from around the globe face off in a series of rounds. They'll compete in four different categories, like speed cubing and re-scramble, in hopes of being crowned Rubik's royalty. We'll just be given a scramble, it'll be completely random, and then we'll be like just going like face like head to head with someone um, and just seeing how fast we can solve it. Chris here is the 2020 champ, and he got into this puzzling hobby by chance. Let's go! One of my brother's friends, he was around our house one day back in 2014 and uh, we had like a, 
a dollar store cube lying around, which he uh, picked up and solved. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I want to be able to do that. I'd just be happy to get on the podium again this year, but winning it would be really cool. All right, coolies, that's all from us. Catch you tomorrow.